Hi, this is Mike Lally of KnowYourMind.com. Welcome to part 11 of how to use face reading to increase your ability to understand people and also to enhance your communication skills. Now, in a business context, this can provide you with a much sought after competitive edge, a competitive advantage. Now, every feature of the face reveals something about an, an individual. You know, I can remember a few years ago, there was an English executive manager and he said to this guy who was Scottish, he said, my father told me never to trust a person wearing a beard. And the Scots guy replied by saying, well, my dad told me never to trust an Englishman. So no matter what is on your face that's prominent, a beard or a moustache and so on, it does tell you something about the person. Now, what does the chin reveal? Now, in normal circumstances, it tells you about someone's will to get what they want and their determination to stand up for what they believe in. Now, it can be said the chin can be classified into some specific and discrete categories, you know, wide, broad, pointed, narrow, cleft, receding, they spring to mind. And more specifically, you can have narrow pointed or broad pointed and so on. Here we will talk about the more common types that you will see in your everyday life. So let's begin with the broad or wide chin. And we can see here, it looks something like this. Now this is a stable and strong person. Now they are practical, down to earth, functional and matter of fact people. They can be confrontational and they will exert, they will show their will if they are challenged. So let's look at some more points about this chin. This person does not give way easily. They will fight their corner and remain steadfast. They have a noticeably physical vitality. The next chin is a pointed chin. Now this person can be very sensitive. Mind you, they can get upset almost at the drop of a hat. So here's some more information about the pointed chin. Now they can have difficulty keeping it together and staying grounded. They can be indirect in communicating what they really want. However, they can express themselves strongly when they need to. Now the chin that juts forward and out. This is a person with a strong sense of determination. And they are people who are literally quite prepared to stick their neck out, to lead by the chin, to get what they want. And given this tendency and drive, there is a possibility of disappointment can occur if the person lacks flexibility. Here are some more points about this chin. They can have a strong will. They are comfortable imposing their will onto other people, but they generally do not want to engage in conflict. Contrast the jutting chin to the weaker receding chin. Now this chin is easy to recognize because it slopes away from the base of the nose. And this is a person that often lacks the will, particularly when they are challenged, will often give way in certain situations. Here's some more information on this type of chin. Now they may give in to other people's demands. However, an interesting aspect of this type of chin is that these people often compensate for this by using personal charm. They often have superior social skills. People do ask about the dimple chin or the cleft chin. Now it can be said that the dimple chin person tends to be quite sensitive and quite demanding and require a lot of attention. They can be very emotional. Now the cleft chin is slightly different because the dimple is more prominent, much more easy to observe. So here's some more information about the cleft chin. Now here we have a person with an even stronger desire for attention. They often have a strong will and they can be very demanding. Again, they can be easily hurt when things do not go their way, particularly during a relationship. They just need to be loved. So what should the ideal chin look like? Well, preferably it should be broad, deep and full. These characteristics represent physical strength and emotional warmth. So that completes part 11. Thanks for watching. If you get the chance, visit my website, knowyourmind.com, and my blog, mikelally.com. 
Also, please subscribe to my channel by clicking here or above so you will know when the next video is available. Keep in mind, you have many faces, so let's put them to use. Let's begin to look at the chin in a slightly different way. And from this, you can sense how determined and grounded a person is. And also take note how the chin changes as a person speaks and what it might do when they talk about certain topics. Also, keep in mind the face says, this is who I am. So until we chat again very soon with the next video, take care. Cheerio for now.